Hi, we're here for uh, round two of Dave's refrigerator freezer safari. That's right. I don't have my mask on, I'm sorry, but I'd like to just hand uh, the video camera over to myself so we can take a look in here and see what's, what's up for today. Okay, so let's do that. Okay. Thank you, Dave. So, Dave. Hey. What have you got for us today? I mean, well, I, tell me about it. I decided that it was time to go ahead and show you what's pretty much, pretty much the most exotic thing I've got. Here. In the freezer? In the freezer, that's right. Okay, we're waiting. And it is, it is packaged okay. in an innocuous premium carrots bag. Stop and stuff. shop. But, no, that's only the outer packaging. In here, we have... What is that? What is that? These are Chinese what? scorpions. Why are they Chinese? Were they well, they got in them China? in China. Yes, I got them in Chinatown in Boston. And there's one there without its legs, but there's the tail. Okay. And there's various bits okay. right here. Okay. And you can see, hang on, hang on one second. Yeah. There. You can see mm -hmm. the stinger. I'm going to get it on a white spoon. No, we don't have time for that, Dave. Okay. Maybe we do. The okay, white spoon. That's the stinger of the scorpion. Okay. What does that do for a person in their life? Well, all right. So ch scorpions are an important part of Chinese, traditional Chinese medicine. Uh -huh. So I don't know what scorpions are used for, but I do know they're used for medicine and for scorpion well, Why wine. would you have scorpions in your freezer if that's, you don't know what they're for? That's a very good question. That's because... I used to run a real edible insect company and I had an mm -hmm. inventory and I had mm -hmm. customers mm -hmm. for the scorpions okay. in a different incarnation of Dave. So, but the, you're going to keep the scorpions in your freezer just in case the, just in case the customers next, come back and that's say, right. I want some scorpion parts. That's right. It's time for scorpions. What okay. do you got? Well, I don't know. I think you should eat one for us right now. Okay. Take a look. Take take a take a gander. These are brined, and so they're going to be kind of salty and taste like mm. little twigs. And look, there's one of the pinchers set up, and I and it goes. It's beautiful. Okay. Bon appetit. Um, you're looking better and more healthy already. Okay, I understand um, now. Yes. I'm a convert. You know, scorpions. It's a okay. thing. Okay. Okay. It's beautiful. Now, what else is in there? Well, I have a feeling that you've got something in there that's that's different than the scorpions, if that is possible. But I have so you many. You told me in that there. that this. There's something in here I know that represents the heart of me. Tell me. And show is, show us the wait, way. Hang on. What is what is that? That is an it envelope. Looks like a Valentine. Yeah, but I don't know why this would be in here. It's not food, at least not in the usual yes, sense. Yes, but it's food. your freezer, Dave. That's right. Why so, is it in there? That's an excellent question. Let's see. It is a piece of paper. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Qu'est-ce que c'est? Yeah, it is a page of verse. This can't be your epic poem. I think it is the first page of my epic. It is a very cool work. That's why it's in the freezer. And I'm going to go ahead and, along with the scorpions... That would be beautiful. Go ahead and read the first page. Shard one. Beautiful. Won't someone tell me, please, the tale of their ordeals, of how they'd heard the wind and were compelled to trek, and found the hollow thing and entered, bickered, reconciled, and died, then changed their forms, were other things, until at last reclaiming serried ranks and braided rolls. It is the only tale I love that I can bear to hear. I seek to understand, had all their pain and anguish been for nothing? Or had their unending tribulation somehow helped them? Hmm. Their imploring voices cry for my attention. I cannot avert my gaze. 
I'm yearning for a song that's still unsung and hope that one might teach itself to me. This pen, mundane, becomes a taper lit by that which drives all growing things that burns forever. By its subtle glow, I'll craft a novel drama, lacking heroes, filled with yet bereft of foes, that catalogs the span of their ordeals so that we may experience the soft and honey breeze that carries us along. I will these words to be as shooted seeds awaiting wind to carry them aloft so they can find new soil in which to germinate, arise, disperse, and thus continue fleeing death. Okay. The story ends the way it started. Sharks, the white, the bull, the lemon, tiger, blue, the horn, the leopard and the wabagong arose from depths unseen toward the scent of withered pilgrims free from what had held them. Sunlight played upon the eyes and teeth of those arriving, ragged and fewer far than what had been. Most had felt the will to live evaporate within them. Therefore, these tenacious few arrived as though upon a final strife, their slender ribs explicit underneath the still gleaming sets of scales and jaws forever chewing empty water. Note which ones remained, piranha, snakehead, pike, and several deep sea others searching what remained, the scraps of wool and cloth and fur. That's really what we all needed to hear today. But if you think that we can absorb that in the essence of our finality. I was working on it for 23 years, so it's not quite done yet. We'll understand, but it's just, you know, it's that and the scorpions and your essence and your bravery in this world of reality television to make us think. Now, I think everyone should rewind this video. I think video. they've heard enough by now. I don't think they've heard shit.